Hello everyone, my name is Lanzo90 and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. Uh, I'm just making sure people can reclaim that stuff. I told them to, but I'm not exactly sure that they did. So I think that person, yeah, that person's body got moved into there. We need to put them into the burial ground as soon as we can. Let's build a wall right here. I have some mudstone blocks. That's good. Guys are working on the rock coffin and stuff, right? Yes, they are. It's good. Okay, if they finish that wall, then I'll be uh, good to go. see what's the coffin at. It's like a, it's, I think it's a burial, yeah, burial receptacle. Put them here. Then I want to, it happens in a craft dwarf's workshop. Grave a memorial slab. To that guy. I wonder if they added in funerals or anything, that'd be interesting. Okay, now we have our accurate stores of stuff, which is really awesome. We have almost 300 seeds, 212 drinks, 600 meals, some plants and stuff. I think I'll turn the kitchen back on. Still should always be on as well. It's just a good idea in general. Farmer's Workshop's gonna milk some creatures if it can. Just like to make sure everyone has jobs so they can get the jobs done. Care more about the jobs than anything else. Use for burial, make a tomb. Oh, hold on. bit confused. Maybe you can't assign a specific person to a casket anymore. You used to be able to, but I guess not anymore. Did the uh, slab get engraved? Alt S. That seems a little bit scary to try to press that. Let's 
assume it got engraved. I think they had enough time to try to get that done. Oh, there's a button. I got out here. I hear bug. One seems to be burying this person. Let's turn off the tomb. is buried now. Something seems a bit strange. Make Memorial Hall. Masons aren't doing anything, so doors and also build thrones and chairs. Or thrones and uh, tables, I'm sorry. Oh, no one's already building rock pots. That should be good for now, in theory, based on what I think I know. to smooth this thing out. I don't think the uh, level of engraving does has much to do with smoothing stuff. What's going on down here? Slug, worm. It seems to just be following wherever like this turkey goes. What is this? Turkey hen. No, yeah, it's like following all these animals. No, no more animals for anyone. They go in the pasture where they belong. I'm 
bringing in vermin and stuff, and I don't like it. For some reason, the cats aren't killing them either, which is kind of annoying. In fact, you can kind of tell, like, if there's almost no remains in these stockpiles, and there's, they usually fill completely up, so... They're obviously not doing something. See this? That animal has ticks on it and stuff, it's really annoying. Get him out of here. What kind of seeds do we have here? You can actually now see like all the stuff we have. Pigtail seeds, ratweed seeds, cabbage seeds, celery seeds. Got some pretty awesome seeds, actually. We do got the tomato seeds and stuff, so that's awesome. That's what I was trying to do. And now I can tell them not to forbid these, and they can pick up their bolts again, which is glorious. Now they can grab their arrows, it's gonna help so much. This is strawberries, this is raspberries. What else did we see we had? We had like uh, celery, didn't we? I think I saw celery in that list. Huh, <laughs> you can build hemp plants now. Yay. Exactly sure I'm gonna help that person out. The animal is this Drake. It looks like a chicken. Oh, it is a it's a bird. I thought it was a small dragon. <laughs> Can't have that in the building. Leave the animals outside, they're gross. They added grossness into the game. <laughs> there are so many little puppies and kittens running around. And I made into a mason, just became a uh, mason officially, which is cool. Let's see how high a skill is. Adequate. <laughs> He's not that great at it, but. He's working on it. He's working.
winter is upon me. Saving takes too long now. How much freaking like veg not vegetables but uh fruits and stuff are on the ground. Pears and apricots apricots and pears. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Sure wish we could eat those. We'd be like in the Garden of Eden pretty much. talk about right now. Things are going decently smoothly. Not a hundred percent to plan, but good enough. Masterpiece ton pond turtle shell leggings. <laughs> He's actually made a few of those at this point. I wonder if anyone's arming or armoring themselves with those. That room finished getting smoothed out, which is cool. See how good our engravers are. Like if I can send them in to do the major stuff. Three of them are really good, and then the rest of them are just level one. So they should just keep working on different things before we do the main zone, so to speak. I want them to do the main room until they're really good. Busy for a while. Thank you. 
I'll actually have them stop making those leggings for a while. So we kind of ran out of shells and stuff. And I'd like to save some just in case we need them for something. Actually, in fact, while we have like a bunch of beds and stuff, I'm going to have him decorate stuff with shells. So that should mean he's going to decorate the uh, beds with shells, and then we can give that to the mayor. And that should uh, make finally make that room nice or whatever. Oh, what was that artifact we made? I forgot how to check. Artifacts. L. Oh. Turkey Bone Warhammer. Okay. It's just awesome if you get artifact uh, furniture, because then you can put those in those rooms, and that will pretty much single-handedly uh, make them happy. beds laying around. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just, I just forgot what I just said about uh, I'm gonna let him decorate those for a while. do want to put more doors on these bedrooms, though. so it kind of like spilled out. is not really growing, so it's almost time for a second still. Probably time for a few more above-ground farm plots as well. However, I can try to fit them in. to tell them that they can uh, gather junk from outside and put it inside. That's because our refuse files and piles aren't really filling up, so I'm not too worried about them taking stuff from outside and putting it in.
All these bins filled up? No, not all of them. Baby looks like it's on its own. Mm -hmm. His very long beard is braided and he's like six months old. <laughs> Freaking dwarves. <laughs> That's funny. I guess he's like crawling. That's my only guess. A dwarven child has been possessed. What? This child to the children can get possessed? When does that happen? Well, I hope he can find what he needs because if he dies, some people are probably gonna get super upset. Claim the craft store's workshop. I don't know if the children could get possessed, that's a little bit strange. It's taking some... Oh yeah, it is a good idea that I don't... Yeah, we don't want to use all the bones. Let's uh, stop anything that's using the bones. Because uh, people are actually using them for stuff, so... When they make the... Uh, crafts. Or when they get possessed and stuff, they sometimes need the bones. Oh, it doesn't say being in a mysterious construction. Need gems, leather, bones, cloth, thread. Rough color. Crap, you think it's like dye or something? Is there a way to see what he already has here? His parents are going to go insane. I don't, don't know what to do to help him. I'll try to figure it out uh, off camera for a little bit, but this kid's probably gonna die because I don't think I can get what he needs. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video and have a good day.